Katie Couric was recently interviewed on the red carpet by her uh, sort of co-workers, I guess, at CNN. And uh, something interesting slipped out during that. I'm good. Okay, so I, I, I find this really interesting. Global anchor. I don't think there's anybody else who's a global anchor yes, now. Yes, I think it should be sort of intergalactic anchor. I'm going to be talking <laughs> you, to my so, agent about that. So what, what is your beat? I mean, is it like it's, it's, Mars? It's, it's the that? globe. It's the world. You know what CNN covers at uh, times. Yes, well, you know, we, we do, oh, we, we cover all of it, swim. but we're not, we are not going to accept that. We're not taking that from Katie Kirk, let I me tell you. Oh, she's teasing That's that. a good thing. Now, I do want to say the, uh, the CNN anchor there who, as you saw on the split screen, his reaction was good. He could have been, like, offended and all huffy about it, but he didn't go in that direction. It was I have to imagine it's similar to if I were to make fun of TYT Sports or something like that. Like, it's sort of a, a pleasant uh, camaraderie and competition, I suppose. But Katie Kirk does have a good point there. I mean, she, in all likelihood, is going to, in the next couple of years, produce more real journalism and educate her viewers more than people who watch CNN around the clock. And look, certainly, uh, ca like this disclaimer... Uh, there are worse things you can do than watch CNN, I suppose. Um, but I do think she's on to something there. And I understand that you watching this are probably thinking right now, John, you are too obsessed with critiquing what the media is doing. And in particular, you are way too obsessed with critiquing CNN. And I admit, ever since the Flight 370 thing, I have been sort of on the lookout for CNN to misstep. But I don't think that it's wasted time. I don't think that caring about it or discussing it is at all a waste of time. CNN has insane resources, and I don't just mean like awesome cameras and stuff like that. They have tons of producers, they have the ability to send reporters around the globe, and so when you think about all the resources they have, and then you look at what they actually do with those resources, you should be kind of pissed off. I mean, they're free to do whatever they want, and the audience is free to watch or not watch them. We've seen how that's been going. And yet you can't help but sort of feel disappointed or betrayed. They could be doing, doing so much more. And, and for someone like me who is very worried about the future of American democracy, is very worried about American culture being betrayed by its media, we need information. And we're not really getting it, not from the mainstream channels at least. I mean, Fox News, they have their mission. They want to lie to protect Republicans' ass. MSNBC, to a lesser extent, has a similar mission, but when it comes to defending Democrats. And CNN is possibly worse because at least on Fox and on MSNBC, they're purposefully trying to deceive you. CNN is sort of accidentally deceiving you or wasting your time. Like, they could be doing so much more, especially because they're not really in the bag for either party. They could be investigating world news. They could be educating you about issues. But no, we don't have that. And that's why you're seeing sites like 538 and Vox.com. Those are starting to become more popular because people want actual information that goes beyond the surface of the news. But you're not going to get that, okay, because CNN is busy with other things. You gotta know what's happening with Flight 370, even though the same thing has been happening for the past four weeks. Absolutely nothing. And so Katie Couric, who's not a stupid woman by any measure, she sees that. And of course, look, I've gotten pressure sort of in my network, like, oh, we gotta cover this sort of story, or oh, John, that's a, very, that's a John story. We don't wanna talk about Tesla again. And so I understand it's possible Wolf Blitzer doesn't care as much about this as it seems based on how much coverage they've given it. It could be coming from up above and they're just telling him to do more of it. But at some point, you gotta push back and you gotta say, we have a responsibility to the American people. We have a position where we could do so much good. Let's get around to fucking doing it. 